A lot of people might disagree. I have Jeff Wilson at number three, and no, it's not my undying love for the guy. That Jeff, sure, I do absolutely love him. Maybe I do have a body pillow, and I sleep with him at night. I know David Campanelli has speculated that many times here, if I'm a common fan, and I can't confirm that it's wrong. I've always really liked Jeff Wilson just because he's such a hard nose, no nonsense, lunch pail, get in there, go get your yards, and dominate. And he's a really, really solid fit for this zone scheme. Been playing in it for years with the 49ers, then came over from the, the, the midseason trade. And after that trade, I think a lot of people forget he took that job over immediately from Raheem Moster. 16.2, then 22.3 fantasy points in his first two games as a Miami Dolphin to Jeff Wilson have was the running back eight and running back seven in those two games. And then he got hurt after having 12 points in the first half against the Texans, struggled to kind of regain his footing the rest of the year, then wrap up, okay, solid in a committee, 11, 10, and 9.4 fantasy points to wrap up the season. Was a top 30 running back for all three weeks. But those first couple games, what I cling to, he was looking damn solid. And we've seen that. Jeff Wilson put up three touchdown, 30-point days multiple times across his career. Huge ceiling, which is, again, seems just so hyperbolic and just nuts that I'm hyping up this guy to that point, but we've seen the ceiling here. And I think it's as high as ever, given how good this Miami just overall team has looked, but the run game, especially this year has taken it to an even another level Raheem Mostert, the running back one in fantasy for the first five weeks, Devon H hand, a top four running back, despite only playing like three weeks in the scheme, who knows exactly how the work's going to get distributed from here on out. But Jeff Wilson has been activated. We know he's thrived in this offense before. No, he doesn't have the speed element that most are H and some of these other backs that Mike McDaniel covets has, but he has that touchdown nose for the end zone. Definitely has that type of role within him. And he played above most most of the season last year too, when he was healthy. So there is a chance that most breaks down uh, or Jeff Wilson just comes in and, and gives a, a 40% role. You give me someone that's 40%. It's just one of those things where I want any piece of this offense I can get, and I'll pay 25 30% for somebody who I think could have a huge touchdown equity at minimum in this scheme. So Jeff Wilson, I love the guy. I think this is the best possible setup for him. You do want to also shout out here, though, Chris Brooks in the deeper leagues. Jeff Wilson's been on IR forever in my league. Somebody's been stashing him. Well, check out Chris Brooks. You might ask, who is this kid? Rookie, undrafted free agent out of BYU. His lone action in this season was in week three. They were absolutely blowing out the Broncos. Salvin Ahmed was out with an injury. And then in comes Chris Brooks, nine carries, 66 yards, averaging 6.6 yards after contact per attempt. That was more than A-Chan and Mostert in the game. He avoided just as many tackles as A-Chan and Mostert did in that game, despite less carries. Looking really impressive there. Now, it's only been 20 total snaps. But in those snaps, he has PFF's second highest grade among running backs. This Chris Brooks kid, again, very small sample. But when he's in, he looked good. In the preseason, he thrived. And so if something happened to Mostert, if Jeff Wilson is coming along slow in his recovery, at minimum, we do know he's now ahead of Salvin Ahmed, or at least it appears that way, given that Salvin Ahmed was a healthy scratch last week. Chris Brooks was not. And again, anybody that might get volume in this backfield, in this entire offense, I want a chunk of <laughs> I will I will go after. So if you don't have the money to get Wilson or he's not out there in your league, but you have those deep benches, check out Chris Brooks. Could see this kid emerging in, re- in, in upcoming weeks here. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.